Hey, what's going on guys? Dana from Monbot here and today I'm super excited to bring you guys another awesome video. We are looking at Duramic 3D. Uh, they reached out to me a couple of months ago and said, hey, we've got some new filaments coming out, uh, some PLAs and some PTGs if you'd be interested in testing them out. And I said, yes, those are the two materials that I print with the most. And uh, I use quite a, a wide variety of different filament manufacturers depending on sales, depending on colors and so on and so forth. And I haven't done really much filament reviews on this channel because I feel like there's a lot of those out there. But with them being a new manufacturer, I figured, hey, let's give them a go. Let's see what their filament's like. Let's see uh, what the quality's like as far as the, the colors and the tolerances and the uh, just overall print quality as well as price obviously being a uh, really important factor. So I got their filament in now a few weeks ago and I printed, I got five different spools, three PLA, two PETG, and I printed with all of them so that way I can give you guys some feedback on what I think about the filament. So before I get to talking about that, let's do some printing. So I got the filament about a month or so ago roughly and I was, I unboxed one of them just for myself to see what the filament looked like in its nice little boxes and I was really impressed. So I shot some footage of what the filament comes, uh, comes like when it's packaged in its box and all the little extras it came with and before I transferred it to my computer I decided to sell that camera and completely format the SD card and lose all my footage. So, unfortunately, the footage of the boxes are gone in the nether or in the abyss forever, but the filament came so insanely well packaged. It was one of the nicest spool boxes setups I've ever received. The filament all came completely shrink wrapped, of course, like we all expect with the desiccant, which is nothing crazy. It came in a really, really nice clean box. And inside of that box, there was quite a few things. There was each and every single one of the spools came with like this eight by eight Chinese build tack sheets, which uh, again, isn't something that is needed, but cool. I mean, who doesn't, you know, who won't take extra build sheets? I'm sure I can use it for something. Um, it also came with a nice little thank you card and a little bit of info. Um, so that was my first initial impression was cool. They're packaged nicely. They give you extra goodies. Sweet. That's all good. Open the spool up and notice the second thing that I really liked. The spools are pretty awesome. And the couple reasons why is one, they've got the uh, recommended nozzle temperature, the recommended bed temperature, and the recommended printing speed. And that's not super uncommon. A lot of manufacturers do provide that as well, but it's still great. That's awesome. Um, for somebody that's uh, new to 3D printing, having those things right on the spool is a huge plus. I've certainly had people that have requested before, uh, you know, hey, what's, what's, what should I print this stuff at? And I said, well, what does the manufacturer recommend? And it doesn't say on the spool. So having it on the spool is also a really cool thing. But 
The one thing that I thought was awesome, which again, I know this isn't something that nobody's ever done before, but there's these little slits right here on the actual spool that show 200 grams, 400 grams, 600 grams, 800 grams. So that way you can visually see how much filament is left on each one of these spools. And to me, that is something that I think should be a standard. Um, yes, I've gotten pretty good at eyeballing a spool from looking at the side of it and kind of determining how much filament is left, but having that is just super cool. And I, I just, I think that that should be more of a standard. And the last thing I was really impressed with was the colors. They were really, really vibrant. And I looked at some of the footage and I don't feel like the true color really portrays, um, but the red, the red was one of my favorite colors, which again, I don't think you'll be able to see truly how amazing it looks, but it is such a like bright, bloody red. And it, it looks like what I would consider a true red. And a lot of times when I'm 3D printing, I've used quite a few reds that have more of an orangey tone to them. And that's fine if that's what you're going for, but if you want a red, it is nice to have a filament that is actually a red. So the red to me was really awesome. That was one of my favorites. And then also, this is just their standard blue, and their standard blue is a super, super cool color. Um, definitely one of, again, I don't know if it's my favorite blue, but it's definitely one of my top blues that I've actually printed with, which is um, absolutely awesome. And yes, so with all of these, I originally was like thinking to myself, what do I wanna print out? I was originally thinking like maybe a Benchy on all of them, so that way you guys can um, see what the printed material looks like, and I can kind of see how well they print. Well. No offense to Benchy, I love Benchy, it's tattooed on my ankle, but I just decided that I wanted to do something a little bit bigger, so I found a really cool, um, kind of simple, wavy-ish uh, uh, vase on my mini factory that I went ahead and printed out on all of the printers. Um, I use, or all of the materials, or all the different filaments. I use the exact same settings on them, except for the temperature, because two of them were PTG, and the layer cooling fan, uh, I did 50% on PTG, which is my pretty standard for me, and 100% layer cooling for the PLA. But other than that, 0.2 millimeter layer resolution, I think it was 10% infill, and each print took roughly 16-ish hours. So it, it was a whole week of printing, but I figured with a pretty long print, it would give me a chance to see how consistent the filament is, show you guys truthfully like what the color is, um, as well as see if there's any issues with tolerances, maybe somewhere in the spool that, you know, it wasn't, uh, you know, correct to 1.75. I was super stoked on this stuff. Um, I will certainly be using this and potentially even purchasing some more of their spools down the line. Um, I did see on Amazon that the prices for this filament is really affordable. Um, on the low end, I saw their filament going for about $16 a spool. And on the high end, I think I saw some for around $25 a spool. So that's a pretty good sweet spot. And for the quality of the filament, um, both the PLA and certainly the PTG, um, if you're looking for a, like if you just got a uh, 3D printer for Christmas, because this will be coming out after Christmas, uh, or you're just looking to try out some other filaments, I highly recommend Dramic 3D. Their stuff, again, packaged really nicely, super nice colors, and just consistent printing, which is super sweet. I'm really happy with it. So uh, again, I'll be using it for future projects. If you guys want to find out more, check in the uh, description down below. If you guys got any questions about the filament at all, also let me know and give me some feedback. What do you guys think? Would you guys want to see me reviewing more filaments? I, I could certainly see myself reviewing kind of unique filaments or, or printing with unique filaments like uh, you know, different properties like uh, magnetic or conductive or, you know, just various things. But let me know what you guys think about me just testing out filaments like this. I would compile them all. It wouldn't be just like one filament per video. It would be, you know, like a handful of filaments in a video and kind of showing off some of the prints and talking a little bit about them. So I'd be curious to know. I held off on it for a long time. This is kind of my first-ish one. So uh, please give me some feedback. I always want to know what you guys think. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. Links to my Patreon will be in the description down below as well if you want to support the channel. I really appreciate it. It helps me uh, get more things like lenses and equipment for the computers so that way I can edit quicker and better for you guys and just do awesome things. So uh, on that note, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace guys.